alone. Time to blast off, to go where no man has gone before. So if you're ready, I'm ready. My name is Daniel, and I'm celebrating ETs out there. There is life out there. And if we will get that into us, we can wake up. Because it's silly to... Silly to reject the truth when the truth is so apparent out there. So love from love, hope from hope, and, and peace from our Prince of Peace. And uh, I'm going to take this off now. And know that uh, we do have a veritable how you say, uh, situation out here, if we will not wake up, the wise people of the world will be ready with contingency plans, and uh, that is what we need to do, is, is have the wisdom to be able to discern what's true and what has not been true. So welcome to my alien uh, corner. Uh, I'm reading a book called uh, I wrote called Flames of Elijah, and uh, I know it will bless you because it's from a uh, spiritual perspective. And uh, so praise the Lord. Uh, welcome. And uh, I am Latter-day Daniel from Windsor, Ontario, Canada, from the north. That's why I got my little Canadian flag over there. It was foretold that a messenger from Israel would come from the north, and uh, the message has been given to them that they are now Chrislam. That is their new name of Isaiah 62, 2, 4, the kingdom age, because they have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54, 3, because the covenant of God has always been for Israel and all mankind, because he's never been a respecter of people, uh, loving all people the same. And uh, so praise God, and I hope that the uh, people of wisdom will shine as the stars and accept this truth. So welcome, and know that uh, it's time for the Bible Code Chronicles. On January 24th, year 2012, according to Wikipedia, uh, the Earth's sun let, let out the so far one of the strongest solar flares of the century as protons of radiation raced towards the North Pole. It raced towards the North Pole at around 450 million miles an hour. Can you imagine? That's fast. And within just two days, every bit of space between the Sun and the planet Jupiter was flooded with those minute particles. It was a, an a, event in our heavens that was triggered from a solar eruption that was equal to the detonation of 23,000 nuclear bombs. That was a huge event. But something much more uh, uh, mysterious is also exploding onto the world scene. For it came about in 1994, according to Wikipedia, that people such as Grant Jeffrey uh, published a book called The Signature of God, where he wrote... Um, where he wrote about the newly discovered Torah, or Bible code, as it's called. Even the author Hal Lindsey of the great late planet Earth is quoted as saying that Dr. Grant Jeffrey has been the leading Bible prophecy scholar in the beginning of this century, uh, and up until moi. Uh, and for people who haven't heard about these Bible codes, there have been some secret messages encoded in the Hebrew Bible that describe prophecies about our planet's future. Uh, 2012 uh, was predicted that there would be rising judgment, uh, large tongue-like uh, sun flares, the whole earth would be smitten with fear. And I remember all the hoopla about 2012. And it was fear that was taking this world over. Now, it was, uh, that's what the code, uh, I should tell you, these are the words of the code that I'm reading for that year, the year of fear. Um, so 2012 in the Bible codes, 
uh, again, rising judgments, large tongue-like sun flares, so it accurately predicted, the whole earth smitten with fear, planetary panic, stricken, UFO increase, fragmentary terrifying signs in the heavens, annihilation of disbelief, alien contacts, death, lethal, disasters, calamity, no contact invasion, days of trumpets, times of terror, cattle mutilation, watch watchmen on the walls, alien abductions, solar storm, great apostasy, Jesus saves. Uh, and all this was in the code. And for doubters of the accuracy of past codes that have previously kicked out the following clusters. Uh, one cluster said, Iraq War, Saddam Hussein hung, world terrorism, casualties, World Trade Center, Japan disaster, Obama, war on terrorism, Osma bin Laden killed, Afghanistan, Matthew 24, global depression, unrest, Mideast revolution, end of days. Even if someone has never believed in the so-called Bible codes, they would still have to admit to themselves that the earth is being faced with all kinds of trouble on every front. And these are the days of the trial of all flesh that's come to bring God's word of patience to keep us from the hour of the temptation not to change by his love. And so praise God that uh, this is so true, that we can awake and arise and shine. Um, and so if anyone looks at the daily UFO sightings uh, on the World Wide Web, they'll soon discover that ever since the sun flared in the early 2012, there has been an undisputed spike in the number of sightings uh, on a worldwide in a, on a worldwide basis, the last ten years it's off the charts, and so there are some new kind of UFOs that are being reported that resemble old-fashioned TV re, uh, uh, antennas and uh, tons of orbs, little fast blowing, fast traveling, traveling orbs, and uh, so uh, this is being caught on camera over every continent. Uh, so there are new codes now. And for the first time since 2012, some brand new computer software has finally unlocked some brand new codes from out of the book of Revelation. Previously, the codes were only found in the books of Moses. And according to a Dr. Jim Atkinson of the Bible Code Office in Houston, Texas, these new codes say some extraordinarily new things that are deserve attention. Uh, these brand new codes include clusters, which are saying now, mercy to the elect, UFO propaganda, invisibility cloaks, government announcements, skyward fleets seen, fearful signs and wonders, temple mount, spiral clouds, great earthquakes, government announcements, demons in high places, uncloaking invisibility cloaks, increased judgments, destruction, force fields, alien hopes, mysteries revealed, melting glaciers, tsunamis, death. Some heavy clusters, if you ask me. And if anyone bothers to research any of those headings, they would soon come to see uh, something unusual, that they would see that uh, there are things presently happening in many of those categories increasingly over the last 10 years. And there are other clusters within those new findings which indicate that mankind shall in no wise be ready for the kind of things that are about to be unleashed in this world uh, in a wild spiritual whirlwind. For it's predicted within the, the newest codes as well as Matthew 24 
that our planet shall soon find a great onslaught of events are coming at it like a very angry pit bull desiring to rip anything it can into shreds as much as possible in order to tear humanity's living hope away from them. So it's therefore very clear, unto, it should be for every member of Adam's race, we all need our Lord of always more than ever. Uh, it, it, we, now comes the understanding that it is our Lord of evermore alone who can so easily defend and protect his faithful few who are calling out his most mighty, powerful, and faithful name of names. Um, and the clusters have to be really examined. Um, in past events, uh, as far as that goes, concerning the things within this text, previous Bible codes have additionally found clusters now in the book of Genesis that include past historical events such as uh, Roswell crash, Jerusalem UFO. I remember that one. It was on the Dome of the Rock sitting there and man that thing shot up like a bullet and it was just like bing and uh, mankind has never created that something that that fast so the the new in the book of genesis roswell crashes the clust cluster jerusalem ufo the phoenix lights fear above mexico the china plume cia homeland security the words solar flares spiritual wickedness in high places, abductions cease with the name of Jesus. That's, that's a good one. Um, United Nations announcement, great deceptions. Clusters are, are, are very revealing. And as a result of the Bible codes, people of faith, they don't even have to worry about any of the above. His perfect love can cast out all fear and there's no weapon formed against us that will prosper as long as we embrace love so that we won't fear. And um, so praise the Lord that uh, these are the days when our Father of Lights uh, has cut days short so that the, the Kingdom Age will now arise and the Age of Grace is fully done according to all that is written. And uh, so because of this, Evil forces are surging like crazy all over this world, even though Satan has been banished in accordance with Daniel 12.1. And as those who are called by Yeshua, uh, as they rest within the shadow of, of the cross that the Lord Jesus bore for us uh, before he was slain, before the foundation of the earth for all of us, uh, great will be the faithful's escape from whatever distress comes to haunt them. And it'll become plain for anyone to see uh, that if they hold on to their faith in our rising sun of love, uh, in these dark and troubled nights of increasing UFO uh, reports and sightings, uh, that uh, bleakness will be pushed out of our way in a very supernatural way so that our greatest joy can come forth. So let the celebration now begin as every single believer of love looks up with absolutely no fear towards the fearful sights and great signs that Jesus warned his followers about in Luke 21. And so praise God, heaven is coming to earth, and the great white cloud is above all of mankind, and he's saying, I will be your God, you will be my people, I will forgive your iniquity and never remember it again. I'll write my law and my love on your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught of me, for all shall know me, from the least to the greatest of all mankind. Everyone who commits not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, who keeps their love alive as a little child. So leave the land of the walking dead, where we let our love wax cold, and we develop a, a form of godliness, but deny the power of love, who is Christ with them. And so let your love not be a noun with no place to go. Come back be born again. Let your love be stirred up unto overflowing because Christ Jesus wants to save this whole earth through his love one heart at a time. And it's going to happen not by power nor by might but by the spirit of love. So until next time beloved, love from love.